Hello and welcome to Bite Size Med. This video is on the breathing cycle. The breathing cycle involves air going into the lungs during inspiration and air leaving the lungs during expiration. During this cycle, there are pressure and volume changes. In this video, we're going to put pressure and volume together and see what happens during one cycle of respiration. There are three phases. There's rest, where there's no airflow, inspiration, where air enters, and expiration where air leaves. Now we're going to use this schematic lung to try and understand it. The lungs are surrounded by pleural cavities lined by pleura. There's an inner visceral layer which is sort of attached to the lungs and the outer parietal layer which is towards the chest wall. Now the pleural cavity is filled with fluid. This fluid acts like a lubricant and helps the lungs move during respiration. The pressure in the pleural space, that's the intra-pleural pressure, or just simply pleural pressure. Now the air is going to enter through the airways into the alveoli. The pressure in the alveoli is the alveolar pressure. So we've got the pleural pressure and the alveolar pressure. Now the difference between these two pressures, that is the pressure across the organ. That's the transmural pressure. Since we're talking about the lungs, it's the transpulmonary pressure. The pressures are in centimeters of water and are in relation to atmospheric pressure. To understand it, we consider atmospheric pressure to be zero, so that's our reference pressure. Air moves along a pressure gradient, from high pressure to low pressure. So that's what drives the air to move between the lungs and the atmosphere. First, let's look at the volumes. There are four lung volumes, the inspiratory reserve volume, the tidal volume, the expiratory reserve volume, and the residual volume. The air that enters or leaves the lungs just while quietly breathing in and breathing out, that's the tidal volume, which is around 500 ml. So what's left behind after the tidal volume leaves? The expiratory reserve volume and the residual volume which together form the functional residual capacity, the FRC. So that is the air that gets left behind after quietly breathing out. And it's the air that's in the lungs in a state of rest. So at rest, the volume in the lungs is at functional residual capacity. During inspiration, 500 ml of air enters the lungs. And during expiration, that 500 ml leaves the lungs. For this to happen, pressures have to change. And now we're going to add in the pressures. So let's start at rest. The volume is at FRC, like I said before. The chest wall, it has a natural tendency to want to pull outwards, and the lungs have a tendency to want to collapse inwards. At this point, these two forces, they balance each other out. The pressure in the pleural space at rest is slightly negative at minus 5 centimeters of water. That keeps the lungs open. The pressure in the alveoli is zero, equal to that of the atmosphere. Remember, we consider the atmosphere to be zero, and that's our reference. So now there's no gradient, there's no airflow, and the system is at equilibrium. So this is the situation at rest. Now when inspiration begins, the diaphragm is going to contract. The lungs expand, and so the alveolar pressure becomes slightly negative it's gonna go down to minus one centimeters of water. So now there's a gradient between the atmosphere and the alveoli, and the alveolar pressure is lower than the atmosphere. So the air is going to enter the lungs. The fact that the chest wall is expanding, that makes the pleural pressure more negative. So it goes down from its minus five to minus 7.5 centimeters of water. At the end of inspiration, the alveolar pressure goes back up to zero. So now 500 ml of air has entered the lungs, and the volume in the lungs would now include both the functional residual capacity and the tidal volume. Now unlike inspiration, which was active from muscles contracting, expiration is passive. It's from elastic recoil. So the alveolar pressure now becomes slightly positive at plus one centimeters of water. Now you can see that the gradient has reversed. So air is going to move in the opposite direction. From high to low pressure, it moves from the lungs to the atmosphere. So it leaves the lungs, and what's left behind is now the functional residual capacity again. 
and at the end of expiration, the pleural pressure comes back up to minus 5 centimeters of water. So now we're at rest again. So we've completed one breathing cycle, and the cycle is going to repeat again. So this is rest, the phase of inspiration, and the phase of expiration. What happened to the volume? The volume of air that entered, or the volume change, was from 0 to 500 ml. And then that 500 ml left and it came back to zero. We're talking about a volume change. The actual volume at rest was the functional residual capacity and not zero. But the change that happened, that was by 500 ml. For that 500 ml to enter, what happened to the alveolar pressure? It went from zero at rest down to minus one, came back to zero at the end of inspiration. Then for the 500 ml to leave, it went to plus one and then came back to zero again. The pleural pressure went from minus five at rest to minus 7.5 at the end of inspiration and then came back up to minus five again. But there's one more pressure, the transpulmonary pressure. It's the alveolar pressure minus the pleural pressure. So if we take rest, end of inspiration, and end of expiration, at rest you can see it's zero minus of minus five. That's plus five centimeters of water at rest. By the end of inspiration, it's plus 7.5, and then it comes back to plus five again at the end of expiration. So throughout the breathing cycle, it's positive. As long as the transpulmonary pressure remains positive, the airways stay open. When the transpulmonary pressure becomes negative, airways collapse. And that's what happens during one cycle of respiration. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.